Hello, my name is Alice Benby Gebhardt. I'm a kiln-formed glass artist, and this video is showing my work in collaboration with the work of Jane Rollins, calligraphy artist. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. This is called, this is from, excerpted from Blackbird Fly. With the Beatles. Yeah. After the lettering is completed, it's sized, scanned, and sent off to be burned onto a silk screen. I can also make my own screens, but since this will be reproduced many times, I like having it professionally done. I've marked the placement of the glass under the screen so the lettering is in the correct position. This ink that I'm using is actually a high temperature enamel mixed with silk screen medium to make it smooth and the right consistency. The enamel can withstand the temperature of the kiln 30, 1350 degrees. Right now what I'm doing is loading the screen with the enamel and then I'm pressing hard so that it, the enamel will be transferred to the glass underneath. It's hard to see with the tape, but it has done a pretty good job, except for that corner. That blue tape is registering the glass so that it's in the right, right position. And there is the first print. The second screen is a vintage illustration of a crow that I found online. The same process and the same material is used for this. It's being printed on a gray sheet of bullseye glass using the high temp enamel, same as before. glass components are now laid in the kiln and being fired at approximately 1200 to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. So Jane's lettering has been printed onto the top layer of glass while the crow will be on the bottom or the design layer of the glass. I've chosen this white streaky glass to be placed under the lettering. I think it helps show off the lettering, plus it mimics the idea of a bird in flight, the wings, the feathers. And here, it will be completed and fired.
So the pieces have been put in a full fuse in the kiln. They're all now one piece, but they're flat and the edges are a little wavy. So onto the lap wheel. The lap grinder is made up of a wheel of diamond edge grip and water so that the friction against the glass will grind it down, the edge will become smooth and straight. Now the final step, the last firing, it's called a slump firing. The piece is put in a mold and heated in the kiln so that it slumps and forms its dish shape. Voila, our finished piece.